younger brother of Marvin Bagley. And Jermaine Samuels on Remy Martin. That's putting a lot of size on the smaller Martin. Burge inside. And Stanford's going to be a challenge. Oregon probably the one team that may have a little bit of an advantage because of experience. But I like Arizona State's chances to win the Pac-12. Gillespie gets inside, now gives out more. Robinson Earl probing, gets inside, and it knocked away out of bound Fire Classic. Christopher goes to work, gets inside, puts it in. Pretty nice move there by the freshman. Just explosive. Josh Christopher has got a ton of ability. He can get to the rim, he can shoot it. Great in transition. Daniels tried to turn the corner, lost the handle. Bagley has it. Bagley up ahead. Bagley at the basket, and they get the bump on Gillespie. And that's the way Arizona State wants to play. Turnovers, getting out in transition, playing ahead of the Villanova defense. Terrific crossover in front of Moore, and just able to get Woods checking in the transfer from Portland State. He's checked quick to give them some scoring. Robinson Earl, jumper, got it. Well, see a good play. This past year with the murder of George Floyd and all of the unrest around the country, social justice out of bounds play. They couldn't get the ball in, but Caleb Daniels made a fantastic pass to Cole Swider. Eight out of the lane. With the exception of that jumper by Josh Christopher, it's been layup after layup. And the foul. Game. Bagley catch and shoot. Little, little bit more size to have to look over. Now if he catches the ball, great play by Jeremiah Robinson Earl to jump that passing lane. Robinson Earl couldn't finish. And then a kick out. That's it against Rhode Island. Woods finds Christopher the two-handed stuff. Look out. Christopher right here. And as soon as you get this little ball screen roll and then the penetration off the reversal just a terrific back cut and pulled down by Graham here come the Sun Devils and that jumper was strong but it's contested as well and Christopher is feeling it Shempy huh Hard to believe. It's hard to believe they'd let a guy named Shempy onto a, a golf course as nice as Ryan. But oh. Samuels lost the handle, and it ends up with Graham. Up ahead, Bagley. He'll try a three. And Dixon with the rebound. Bagley didn't hit that shot, but that was a good shot. And he is a, a very... He's got a beautiful jump shot. Marcus Bagley is going to be a big-time player. Inside. We're giving up a lot of paint points. And then they looked at the tape and thought, you know, most of them were pretty darn good drives by really quick guards. That the defense was a little better than they, they thought. And it certainly tightened up toward the end of the game. The last five minutes of the game, Villanova was outstanding. Moore hesitated and then it would have feed it inside. Dixon flips it up in the first half of our championship game. John Shoppy, Jay Billis, happy Thanksgiving. Christopher block out by Cherry Burge ends up with it. And yeah, they'll get it. Western Kentucky played so well against Memphis. Especially Charles Bassey, who was injured last year for the Hilltoppers. He had 21 points, 14 rebounds, and seven blocks against Memphis. So you get the ball in the wing uh, instead of you know just trying to drive it. You know, turn and back back your guy down, back him into the post, and then play out of it. He did side switch. Looks opposite. And there it is. There, there's the, essentially the back down. Gillespie playing out of the post, passing out of it, and then attacking the closeout. Burge can't answer. Rebound, Jeremiah Robinson Earl. Just vintage Villanova basketball. 
Moore shot off the mark. That one deflected and it ends up with Samuels. Gillespie kept that ball alive. Got to stay down on fakes. So can't back. hit. Samuels a rebound. Swider eyes it up. Robinson Earl inside. Really strong move to the middle of the floor. It faces up. And so he's got the whole middle of the floor to work with. Able to go to his left. <laughs> he's gone. <laughs> Jumper from board, but they were heart rate monitors and manage, you know, how much exertion there is per practice. But one of the things he said that's a big deal for him, that they put on the players monitor their heart rate and, as you said, their load management, which is the miles run and then how long they're over 90% capacity. And heck, I mean, no cover, Rolly Massimino never even thought, but they've been able to slow Martin down. Or a little strong at hit who sometimes three to the offensive glass, but they always send five to the defensive glass Nobody takes a, a possession off rebounding good play by Dixon to tap that out Wow Robinson Earl and a block by Graham Christopher up ahead left half of those wins including twice against Kansas Soft Villanova with nine offensive rebounds. Robinson Earl just beyond the free throw line. I mean, double team. If you get help defense coming at you, then you make the pass. Robinson Earl going to work. Gets in close, spinning, had it stripped away. This is the freshman, Josh Christopher. Christopher inside, puts it up, puts it in, and the foul. Villanova's in the restricted area there, so you can't take a charge in that area. Robinson Earl probably should have gone up with that first one over his left shoulder going to the right. Seventh most major conference. Bagley a triple. Got it. Back that up another five, six feet and shoot it effortlessly. Pass from Gillespie. That was a great shot, and he missed everything. Bagley, another. Anytime you got two hands on the ball, then they're automatic foul. Good call. Nice one handed pass. Birch hesitates. Lost the handle for a second. Flips that one too strong. And then a foul on Happy Thanksgiving. Moore spins, hangs, and against an old man on the playground. You know, it's just going to back you down and take advantage of you. you know, Villanova plays older. And Villanova has rested the tempo in its favor and made it really difficult on Arizona State. For Villanova's defense as they've taken Remy Martin totally out of this game. He's got five points in this one. Samuels rejected that time by Graham. Robinson Earl looks opposite, able to find Daniel. Jay Wright told us the only show that he has binged is billions. It's like the only show he watches. Find that extraordinarily boring that he would only watch that when there's so many other options. <laughs> Everyone rattling him in initial transition. They're switching out every time to keep it size on him. Justin Moore has done a nice job. Caleb Daniels has been on him. Like they started with Jermaine Samuels on him. Robinson. Daniels goes to work here looking for some help. Gillespie getting inside. Kick out Daniels. Two possessions, and then two possessions later, it's a 12-point game. Good pass. Robinson, 13-point advantage. Verge gets inside, and a well done. A lot of redeemable characters. There you have it.
Robinson Earl. Little scheme. Back. But it's it's good. I mean, the, the, the whole thing, just seeing basketball again, I'm just thrilled to watch oh, the game. Yeah. Christopher banks it home. Kick out Bagley. And a feed. Christopher fired up. Has been able to get in the second half. Has not been high. Another back down for more. Daniels jumper got it and he's gonna pull up and rise up and shoot it They're Well defended out of the timeout just a bad pass trying to get Marcus Bagley on the lob look Now that means you know you give the ball up within five seconds It means you're gonna have to come down and play defense and I'm surprised Swider took that shot Christopher kick out Allen Wood gets a big three and they needed it isn't it? It's like clockwork that you take a questionable shot on one end and you're going to give up an open shot on the other. You knock on that door. Bob Huggins has been there before, not only with West Virginia in 2010, but in 92 took Cincinnati to it. Gillespie wide open. Gotta make that. Arizona State the other way. Christopher buries it and the foul. That's just raw talent there. Not a very good foul by Paul Swider. You want to put some pressure on that shot, but you never want to foul a jump shooter. And Christopher just gives a little bit of shake here in transition, stutter step, and rises up. That's a cat the other night. Cade Cunningham, Jalen uh, from Oklahoma State, Jalen Suggs of Gonzaga. That's off. That's cool. Then there's another member of the team. They attend practices, sit on the bench, and travel with the team to New York City. But due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the honorary team captains not able to join the teams for this event. It's one of the things that really makes this special at Madison Square Garden, and obviously. Not able to happen, unfortunately, here in 2020. Wow, boy, are you physical? But they've dominated Arizona State on the glass. What a terrific face-up to get past Chris Austin and take it all the way to dunk that thing, the way Villanova's defended him. All the different Wildcats that can handle the ball, they can handle it against pressure. Left hand wooden goal for Justin Moore and now Burge Voice of three that hasn't happened in this game And it's been largely because Villanova is so good and strong with the ball Wildcats by ten four and a half to go in the championship More it's a three team that was really well defended by Gillespie. Just gave ground, didn't foul. Forced him to try to make the shot over the top. Burge get Kick out Samuels. And Burge the board. You know, for Arizona State, there wasn't a ton of time to prepare for the way Villanova and EJ, one of the luckiest people. <laughs> Shot clock under 10. Gillespie going to work on Burge. Gets into the paint, feed inside. That's too easy. Jeremiah Robinson Earl, 28 as he continues to add to his career high. And Gillespie made that play, make a, and we keep emphasizing it because it's so important. Don't get me started on the big red machine either. That's another trauma-inducing couple of years when I was a kid. By the way, the Muppet judges will have more in the 80s <laughs> baseball tomorrow. 11.30. That one is out of bounds. Arizona State. 
I think has got a, a terrific opportunity to win the Pac-12. So this is going to be a great learning experience, for, especially for the younger players. Body types. Uh, Johnson was probably a little bit thicker. It is. Yeah, the experience of, of Villanova just won out. They should do. No, I, I get it at the end of the game, but I'm just saying overall, you know, a few plays here or there, and and this is a tighter game. I think that this uh, this championship at the Empire Classic, two Empire Classic, will take away some of the sting of Jay.